Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. It's Ndagere here. Thank you so much guys for the support and the love. Thanks for sharing everything that I put out. Please, if you've not followed me on TikTok, the link is in the bio. If you've not subscribed, please just pause a little bit, a little bit and subscribe. I mean, please support this girl, please. Some people actually came into my DMs and told me they are not Africans. They are not from Africa. They should not be called African Americans. I'm not here to force anybody to come to Africa. I'm not here to force you to come to Africa. I'm here to talk to those that know, feel they have the African ancestry and they have a right to it. If you feel you're indigenous to wherever you are, keep quiet, keep it yourself and stay there. Let other people who want to unite, unite. Because the fact is, if you are not African descent, why should you be bothered? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my fellow African descent people that Africa is their home and it will forever be your home. So guys, what I want to put out is a lot of people or some people are actually coming into my inboxes on Instagram and telling me on how they are not Africans that, you know, black people are everywhere and that I should not force my beliefs or my, you know, whatever I'm talking about to other black people but then i didn't want to come out and be like offensive or hurt people or hurt you guys but when i came out to talk about black love and empowerment amongst us and, and us as black people to connect and love each other i was not even thinking about any negative thing in my brain because I, I was seeing a lot of slavery i was seeing a lot of you know pain on us and i just want to let you guys if you follow me on tiktok guys if you don't you can check out in the link in the bio or you can just see my instagram because i came out to connect with my ancestors descendants and those are the ones in asia in europe and in america north and south i did not come out and you know force my beliefs on anybody like i did not do that my view or what I believe in is connecting with my African descendants, African Americans, um, people in uh, Europe, those in Asia, and those in South America, even the people themselves in the continent of Africa, because we are so much divided as black people. And I am saying it again, I'm not forcing anybody that does not feel it in their spirit, in their soul, that Africa is their home. If you feel like you're indigenous to Americas, to Asian soils, to European souls, if you feel that's where you belong and that's where you want to be, I'm very okay with it. I have no issues with it. And you should not be bothered when I call my African descendants from my ancestors that were taken through times of slavery or whatever reasons. And yes, my ancestors used to travel we used to do trading so they could have gone to those places and made families in those places but still they originated from the continent of africa i mean look in the map we as an african continent have the majority of my people so I am not trying to force anybody to come home to the motherland. I will not force anybody to come to the motherland. I'm here to speak to my fellow African descendants, to my fellow African people, to my black people, that we are one person and we need to connect. This is the time to connect. This is the time to build ourselves in the motherland. This is the time to intermarry with Africans because I'm so tired of seeing my African descendants, you know, saying things like, oh, I wish I knew where I came from. I wish I knew my lineage. I wish I knew my roots. Because now if you do intermarry with Africans, men and women, I'm not segregating gender. Men can get women. Women can get men. That's what I believe in. So if you come into the motherland, you can get a wife, you can get a husband. Your child is going to have roots. Your child will know where they come from and they will move that generation. Like we are here to break that curse of not, you know, having a belonging, not feeling like we belong. 
and me as an African seeing on the media where my people in the diaspora are told to go back home because they you know they put fear in them that Africa is a bad place it's a bad home it's you know poor and all that but then Africa is feeding almost the whole world it doesn't make sense to me so I believe what happened happened guys this is going to my african descendants please if you feel you're not african please do not come and you know bring your your mindset to me because you're not going to change me i am here to talk to my african descendants that i love you guys i love you so much like i'm saying this deeply you guys should know that i love you and we love you like our people love you yes there are those that want to be like other people because they are you know brainwashed but the majority love you we love you and we want to see you in the motherland like i want to see you in my circle i've never met any of my african descendants like i i've never and i want to experience that i keep saying it so guys if you don't feel african please stay where you are and be indigenous to where you belong to my african descendants that embrace their true selves that embrace their africanism that embrace being african motherland is calling and this is the time to unite so guys come to the motherland come meet us we want to share our information together and learn each other connect love each other invest in the motherland you know and mind you guys when you come african descendants into the continent you're respected you're seen as you know americans or europeans or asians you're seen as more developed people who have more knowledge than us and if you come into the continent you're actually more privileged because they treat you special more than us who are actually indigenous to the continent which is actually i love it but also it needs to be balanced you know so guys come into the motherland and i don't care what you guys think those who think i'm forcing you to come to the motherland i'm not and i'll never because if your time comes and your ancestors are in you they will make you come to the motherland and yeah so let's connect guys let's really connect i'm thinking of doing an airbnb just for you guys to come home to our home my home my mom's home like you can come and stay for two days or a week or whatever and just experience what i'm talking about and then i don't know i just i'm thinking about it guys let me know should i put like an airbnb at home for you guys to come and just stay for a few days and then leave like i need to know like let's talk you know comment in the comment section and tell me like and then us too when we want to come to you and see you who do we even contact because me i've never traveled i've never left you know my country to go to any european country or american country so i don't know who should we actually also contact like guys let's connect i love you and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye